This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 14, Building an App, Image, Scroller, uh, uh, Puzzle 3, Key Press. If we want to add keyboard input to our apps, we'll need to learn how key events work in App Lab. To start, let's take a closer look at the on event block. We already know that event handlers call a function. What we'll see now is that they also pass a parameter. Oh, awesome parameters. The default name of the parameter is simply event, but you can change it to be anything you'd like. The event parameter is a, is a more complex kind of variable. We actually have used it at least once before. Call, called an object that we'll learn more about later. For now, just know that both mouse and keyboard events. The event parameter passes more information. Oh, for now, for both mouse and keyboard events, the event parameter passes more information about the event. In the case of key events, you can find out about keys that were actually pressed by using event.key. Yeah, because event holds the keys pressed, the mouse movement event, mouse speeds, all sorts of stuff. Do this, drag out an on event block done. And that's what they're talking about. Event here is the parameter, right? And we can change this, right? Because we are declaring the parameter. So I can name it Bob. I would just need to change it to Bob everywhere. It's just like a variable. I'm going to leave it as event for clarity. Change the ID to screen one. Got it. Change the event to key press. Uh-huh. Once you hit run, click the screen. Click on the screen so that it gives you. Oh, type in. Oh, cool. And so it's keeping track of all the keys. Neat. I'm excited to see all the other stuff we can do with this, right? So the way it's doing that is this is a event is an automatic parameter. We can run it using, uh, we can have it in our function for on events, and it grabs a ton of information about uh, mouse and keyboard input at the time the function runs. So. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.